We try really hard not to make this a negative channel. But we also want to keep it real. And the reality is, I need a spark. I need a flame, darling, I just want to burn again. Just burn again. All of the hype is wearing me thin, darling, I just want to run. Yeah. We have been feeling pretty trapped. With all the rain? Yeah, you look at the forecast and it's two weeks out and it's just it's just been rainy. Then that we had sunshine, <clears throat> Kai's oh, truck yeah. comes off. We try to get him out in the sun as 100%. much as possible. But anyways, this is Kai's haven right now. And, and ours. ours. <clears throat> he just wants to come outside and yep. stick his hands in the dirt. Yeah, and what's cool about being up here, we're at about 3,900 feet up here. Mm -hmm. Snow mosquitoes, I love it. Snow um, mosquitoes? There's, there's <laughs> snow mosquitoes. There are no mosquitoes. <laughs> The water, babe. It's really cold. <laughs> it's cold. Really, really cold. This is pure glacier melt. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a little pink. So one thing our family does to give ourselves a little pep in the step midday is some afternoon coffee. Uh, yes. Today we wanted to thank our friends over at Life Boost Coffee for sending us some awesome samples. We're always chasing healthier options, healthier alternatives to everything that we do, coffee included. Um, so most roasts are certified organic, but they third party test for molds, heavy metals, pesticides, plus 400 other toxins. They are stomach friendly, so low acid coffee beans are naturally grown to full maturity. They are sun dried and gently washed with spring water before roasting. The way that they grow, gather, and prepare this coffee, I'm super stoked to give it a shot. That's flavorful. Like I it's, love that. It's smooth, but it has like a good punch of it flavor does. to it. Oh yeah. Sure. The one thing that we have been really consistent in incorporating for mental and physical benefits is our home gym. With having two kids, just the juggle of taking care of them and then having one person drive to the gym, or it's it was just too much. So Andrew and I really have invested into a home gym setup that we're really excited and proud to use. Have definitely been using that to kind of help us fight the. Uh, the mental and physical fatigue of this weather. So one really exciting addition that we have added to our home gym, Andrew surprised me with a rogue squat rack that has a pull-up bar. We have just been googly eyes over all of Rogue's squat racks and rigs for such a long time. So this is a really exciting find. So Andrew found this in Anchorage off of Marketplace and we were so stoked to add it to our home gym. We have been using the crap out of it. Of course, a row machine. This has been such a good investment. Um, postpartum during pregnancy. Love it. There are so many dang mosquitoes in here. I guess they got trapped in here from last night, probably. Like they're, <laughs> they're so mean. A lot of Alaskans or people that live in Alaska take on quite a bit of vitamin deficiencies just because of the lack of fresh fruit and vegetables that you have. A lot of times you get fruits and veggies from the grocery store. You bring them home and about a day later, maybe you can squeeze out a little bit more, but about a day later, they're already bad. From the lack of fruits and veggies, but also the sun, usually everyone in Alaska takes a vitamin D supplement. So to help with some of those deficiencies, we do juice. So I'll toss this over to Andrew to show you our little juicing routine that has some awesome benefits. What I have a weird, this light is reflecting right in my face. Uh, today we're doing a carrot, beet, ginger, turmeric juice with an apple in it. There's a little touch of ginger and turmeric in there. Tiny little bit. That's good juice. Oh, Kai. Kai, look at you, man. Do you like, like your little koala bear? Kai's been obsessed with his brother. 
He's always trying to cuddle with him and looking at him, but then sometimes he's trying to play with him. He just doesn't realize that Maverick is not yet big enough to horse play. Or he just cuddles a little yeah. too hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a tough summer for that dude because he's just been he's just been cooped up all summer. We try really hard not to make this a negative channel or come across like super complaining. But we also want to keep it real. And the reality is is it was a long winter. It's about mm -hmm. eight months. Yeah. yeah. And then everyone is so hopeful come spring and summertime when the ice melts of like it's all worth it. It's the Alaska mentality. Because the summers here, you have yeah. almost 24 hours of daylight. And the summers are phenomenal. They they're are. They're amazing. Yeah, they're beautiful. Everything's blooming and wildlife is insane here. But this summer has been different. So I'm just kind of curious, you know, for people that live down the Kenai, uh, North Fairbanks, down to Juneau. South Anchorage even. Yeah, in South Anchorage or other parts of the valley. Yeah. You know, do you have mosquitoes as bad as we do? On Kai, he got a lot of bites one day. I don't know how many. They actually ended up swelling and changing colors and developing a little bullseye pattern with rings around it. If you move to Alaska, there's a lot of Facebook groups to help you out with mm. hunting or if you have kids or your mom or whatever. But a lot of these groups have been posting about adults and children getting bit by mosquitoes this year and really weird effects are happening. Eyes are being swollen shut um, from bug bites. Hands are complete, like doubling in size. They're just very weird characteristics of of the bug bites this year yeah. with mosquitoes. Regardless, um, we've been doing a lot to get Kai outdoors, to get out in the sun. We did sign Kai up for gymnastics and we went this last week and we got there full. right at the time that open gym started mm -hmm. and we got turned away because there were so many full. kids that yeah. from the valley that were trying to get yep. some play time. Yeah, we're just learning. We're figuring out that some, sometimes we gotta drive a little bit to get Kai outside um, mm -hmm. and Maverick will be behind him very soon, so. And we, and we do love going to Hatcher Pass because go to the elevation, mosquitoes it's are gone. a lot better. Mm -hmm. no, completely gone. We have, I haven't seen a single mosquito up there. We're trying to stay positive. Hopefully the next video will be a lot more positive than, than this one. But we're trying to keep it real and give a good proper representation of what life is like right now. And right now, that's what it is. Hopefully we have several days of sunshine coming up next week. It looks like it might, might be that way. Whoa, bro. We are looking forward to bringing you guys along for some outdoor adventure, hopefully next week. We'll see you guys then. See you then. I need a spark. I need a flame, darling, I just want to burn.